A part of what we do obviously involves chemicals. Uh, there's, there's no doubt we will use these in production. We have sites that have storage of these chemicals, etc. Mm -hmm. So one thing that, that we do is we're a global organisation. Uh, we're working in Africa, we're working in Asia, um, and we will, number one, look to comply with the laws of that land. So if there is something specific around chemical storage uh, at uh, that location geographically, mm -hmm. then we'll make sure that we comply with that. On top of that, what we will do is look for a corporate standard. So it might be that we've put some physical security measures in where we've said uh, these chemicals have to be stored in a certain way under these conditions, i.e. temperature, etc. But we will also then say limited persons have access to those materials. Um, so only your access card will, will give you access to this. It might be that we've put certain barriers in the way. So it might be that we say there's got to be three levels, um, you know, doors or physical barriers that you've got to get through before you can get to the chemicals. Um, so there's things like that that we can do from the corporate level. However, our biggest challenge, and, and we're discussing this a little bit, is is that good enough for the real risk and the real threat within the country? Understanding that threat picture, understanding the landscape and the areas that we work in is so important to then make sure that we have the appropriate security measures. And to be fair, you need a very robust organisation that's constantly looking into these things. Uh, I am from the private sector, we're not police or public. Um, so therefore, the focus uh, and being able to keep up with that is, is uh, very, very difficult. And that is, without being cheesy, that is why a, a conference like this is so fantastic to keep you up to date with, with those kind of things. We've got representatives here from, from these different areas. If I can actually reach into these uh, areas, certainly if we've got public sector and private sector, um, there's this big thing about sharing information. So e even if you're not from the same industry as I am, so oil and gas, uh, if I can actually speak to you and say what challenges have you got, you can pretty much guarantee they're going to have the same as us. Can we, can we combat this together or come up with ideas together? Uh, we're looking for win-wins. Industry is always looking for win-wins and, and something like this, just the networking and the power of speaking to people um, is, is really beneficial, really, really.